Well, hello there, internet friends and family. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, 2016, and we're having kind of a rough morning. So I'm working from home first thing for like an hour and a half this morning, is I have to take Brother Bear in for his ultrasound. And that means no FOOD after 10 p.m. last night, and then I had to pull up the water um, by seven this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have four very upset kitties. Like, did you forget something, mommy? Did you forget something? Did you forget something, mommy? <laughs> Everyone's like giving me the evil eye. As soon as I get him in the crate to go, I can give the other something. But for right now, I have just four kitties sitting here going, please, please. Yeah, so it's kind of going to be a weird day. I'm going to drop him off, go into work for a little bit, then come back, get him, bring him home. So we'll see what the day brings. All right, talk to you later. Okay, well, it is hours and many, many tears later. I'm home. There's Beanjies. There's Harleys. Bob's is sitting in front of the door. Pumpkins in the bedroom somewhere, I think. I'm sure she'll be out here before too long. So, um, my heart is broken. Um, Brother Bear had his ultrasound this morning, and his both of his kidneys are very enlarged. There are some swollen lymph nodes. Here comes the bonks. This he is. This he is. So, um... This is what they just found on the ultrasound. So then they called me and said, do you want to sedate him? Do you want us to sedate him? And then kind of do a biopsy, an aspirate, aspirate, aspiration, no, aspirate, you know, it's a biopsy in people terms. So I said, yes, let's just find out. So they've done that now. And um, now we have to wait three to five days for those results. Um, also, they told me that Brother Bear has not been pooping, that the poop is collecting again. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, fast forward to, I, I dropped him off, I went to work, and then I came back and I talked with the vet. So the vet's like, well, did they tell you that they didn't get all the poop out at the hospital? I'm like, no. And then she showed me the x-ray. And um, actually, I think I will insert. So they took um, an x-ray the day I took him in on Saturday. And then they took an x-ray after they did the procedure on Monday. And there's still fecal balls inside of him. They never told me that. And she's like, oh, and did they tell you about his arthritis? And I'm like, no, they didn't tell me about that either. Well, she's like, well, and she showed me along the x-ray where it looks like he has some arthritis along his spine. And she's like, this can make it very, very uncomfortable and painful for animals to go to the bathroom when they have this arthritis thing. So that might be manageable with some like anti-inflammatories. But uh, we have not been giving him, we, the cat sitter and I, have not been giving him the, um, the laxative because the instructions that they sent home said that you could back off because it was basically diarrhea, so we had backed off. He was pooping. Oh, blah, blah. So anyway, I have a bag of fluids. I will take a picture and insert that here. to do sub-Q fluids on him, 100 milliliters a day. And I'm like, how long am I gonna have to do this? And they're like, for the rest of his life. Yikes. So, um, but the doctor recommended Miralax. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's like a human laxative, it's a powder. And she's like, just put this in some wet food and that will be so much easier on everybody. So I'm gonna, pop over to the store later on and uh, see if they have that, get that going. 
so I guess the goals are to keep him hydrated and um, soft, the stool, very soft. So I don't know. Um, it could be pretty bad news. It definitely could be. And uh, he's just the most lovable, lovable guy. Um, yeah. So right now we're going to do what we can do, and that is um, keep him hydrated and do the stool softener. In the meantime, my the best cat sitter ever has had two family emergencies today. So um, he's got fluids today, so he's good. We just really have to keep him hydrated. Um, I'm going to be watching some YouTube videos on how to administer sub-Q fluids for a cat. Uh, I'm sure there's a few out there. Hopefully there's a few out there. All right, so I'm r rambling on here, um, but my heart is broken. I've just had this gut feeling. I really did, especially that Friday night on the 13th. Oh my gosh, that was Friday the 13th. I just realized that. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, it wasn't Friday. It was Saturday that I took him to the doctor. It was Friday the 12th. That night, it was so bad. I I just had a gut feeling. So anyway, that's it for today. We shall talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.